Marsha. Hi. Marsha, how you doing? Oh, God. Which one do I want next? <laughs> I know it, right? <laughs> so much fun. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us on today's video. We are looking at, first off, my favorite customer in the entire free world. Uh, we today are looking at a beautifully restored K5 Chevrolet Blazer. We're gonna walk around today. Listen, I know what you're thinking because I know I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking circa 1970s or 80s, whatever. We are riding around in these field parties. Uh, the stories, I can imagine what this could tell are gonna be crazy. So we're gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna walk around. We'll see the restoration. Most importantly, this is an Arizona truck. Why is that important? We're gonna see why that's important too. And then we're gonna see the detail, we're gonna see the restoration, and we're gonna see the options. All right, so we need the detail on the restoration, right? This I purchased from a restoration company in Arizona, right? Uh, I think that you'll find that Arizona cars in general are just better, better cars. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the underside is dry and not rusted from the salt and things like that that we have here on the East Coast. We have russet red and white paint. Like this is a period specific color. You can't paint a car like that today. Circa 1979, this color combination works. New chrome, new stainless, new grill, right? The stripes here uh, are cool. If you don't like them, they can be removed and it can be all uh, one color as well or whatever you choose. Anyway, I think they look good. If you don't love them, not a big deal. That's the cool thing about Flemings is we're able to make the adjustments to kind of make it your own if you want to. If you like it just the way it is, that's great too. How about these big wheels and tires? That is a great looking wheel, right? It's a great looking wheel and it's a six lug wheel. So we know this is a heavy duty version of this K5 Blazer with the upgraded Cheyenne package. Come on up. Let's take a peek at the quality of the paint. Make sure that you can look at and see the letters nice and crisp in there. Now listen, this is much nicer than it was in 1979. The Chevrolet paint was nothing like this. And I think that uh, as, we, as we have some fun looking around here, you're gonna see the whole truck is way nicer than 79. All right, so what makes a Blazer so much fun, right? The fact that it is a four x four could be just a truck. However, a truck doesn't have this. It doesn't have a removable top, right? You see that it's split right here. You can remove this whole back half turn it into a convertible, right? This has the rare sliding side windows, okay? That's a pretty rare feature as well. Come on back here. And then we also have some really cool stuff. This is a power rear window, power rear window, and it's decorated very nicely back here. We get the handle. Again, we're back to why were these called tailgaters? Well, they're called tailgaters because this is what we did. 70s or 80s, we went to field parties. We uh, sat in the back here and we, we hung out. We had a good time. This is nice too, because sometimes when you see a jack, a spare and what have you in here, uh, it's a big deal to me because most of the cars don't come with it. And I feel like if somebody puts that in there and they're giving you a vehicle like that, there's some detail that they've done. And if they've done detail here, that means they've done detail other places in the car. I usually find I get a better car that way. Secondly, uh, it has a subwoofer and a pretty killer sound system in there. The subwoofer takes up a lot of space. If you like it there, that's fine. They also make a smaller version of this that can tuck behind the spare tire. This also has a painted roll bar in it. Why is that a big deal? Because if you take this off, right, this will protect everybody in there in case of, you know, God forbid something happened, but you got a roll bar already built in so you don't have to spend the money for that too. So little stuff like that, five full wheels and tires, roll bar, killer sound system, beautifully restored, and I'm just hanging out having fun. All right, so come join me in here because this is where you're gonna spend your time, hanging out. All right, restoration wise, new carpet, all new custom seat covers with uh, matching piping to the outside. So we have matching uh, color combination, new dash, restored gauges, uh, the heating and air conditioning HVAC system, all new, the trim in here, the headliner is brand new. Like look at how nice all this stuff is, right? This is way nicer than what have come from the factory. Um, and again, if you wanted to make some trim, let's say there's something in here that you didn't love, that's easily fixable. We can make it whatever you really like, so uh, you let us know that. In here, we talked about the digital sound system. It's an Alpine unit. What else? Oh, full factory gauges. I love that, right? Instead of having just idiot lights, the Cheyenne gave us a much nicer vehicle, a much nicer vehicle than the standard K5. And I think as we get a little older, some of those things are nice to have. Power locks, power windows, and the rear tailgate is uh, power as well. And you can see how that goes right on up. Just showing you a little bit up and down. All right, and, uh, and wheeling down the road. 
it's a custom hood on the car, so it looks really great. It's like a cow hood, and I think that uh, it just adds that last final touches when you're wheeling down the road. You got one arm here, and vent windows in case you decide to take off smoking, because I say smoking's coming back. It's really cool. I'm thinking maybe two and a half packs of mentholated Tipperellos a day. Leave my vent window open, and how are you doing? All right, so let's take a look under here for a minute. I want to point out some things that may or may not be obvious. First off, this is an upgraded version of the Chevrolet V8 that came in here. This is got the center bolt valve cover, so it's a later version with a lot more power than what have come originally from the car. Uh, it does have a nice Holley four barrel on it. It does have factory air conditioning. It does have power steering, and it does have power disc brakes. Not all things that were standard during that time, so this has a lot of nice upgrades in here. It's all painted and detailed in here. The air conditioning is blowing cold. Uh, anyway, it's just a nice, nice, nicely done truck that you'd be proud to go to a car show in or take to the beach or just wheel around and have some fun with family and friends. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're closing the hood because we're going for a test drive. All right, so we're uh, taking the Blazer K5 out for a little drive. Imagine going out to dinner with like friends or put the kids in the back. I mean, it would be so much fun. Uh, the experience would be different than getting in the same SUV that you get in each and every time. This is nice, it makes a good rumble for the dual exhaust. It's got some power, just looks different. Circa 1979, man, that's a long time ago. We're shooting this video in 2022. That is very, very cool. All right, so we closed up the video in this super, super cool Blazer, man. K5 Blazer, Cheyenne package, cool colors, loaded with stuff. Anyway. I get so excited about this because it just reminds me of like wheeling through the fields at like 80 miles an hour. Bah. All right, sorry, I'm back. Anyway, listen, air conditioning, uh, power windows, power locks, two-tone paint, removable top, you know, all of these things, killer stereo, all gauges inside the dash, the interior is smoking hot. I don't know, man, it's just a cool truck. You wheel around this. I, got, I can guarantee, well, I can't guarantee anything, but here's what I would say. I would say that if you, had this truck and you went to work one day on Friday, you just called and said, whoever it is, hey, I'm on my way home, I'll be home shortly. Shut off the Twitter feed and Facebook, emails from your boss, text messages from everybody, shut it off, turn on some tunes, wheeled yourself on home, man, to change your life. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this great blazer. And if you don't mind, uh, like this video down below there and uh, share it with your friends. And if you want to, subscribe to the channel. I think you see some great content coming out all the time.